Look who it is, Dirty Tesla! What is going on everybody, Chris here, and just a quick video for you today. I got a PSA about the mud flaps for the Model 3. If you have them, or splash guards, whatever you like to call them, there's a bunch of different brands that you can pick from. Mine were from the Model 3 part shop, but there are other brands, and they're all pretty much the same thing. I think most of them probably come out of the same factory. Um, so they have the same shape, and they hook to the car in the same way. So I noticed while taking off the splash guards that they had removed a little bit of paint uh, right there where they're kind of touching on the car, uh, which kind of makes sense took the mud flap off and there's really not too much back here if you saw the tesla mud flaps i mean i didn't clean any of this yet this is this is pretty much what was back here what you're seeing um the tesla mud flaps are holding a bunch of stuff but i did notice up here we do have a little i mean a lot of wear um down to the paint there so um through the paint so you'll want to probably wrap under there or tape or something before you put these on um, and i will probably paint that somehow i have the repair paint which won't be perfect but better than nothing but uh, actually it was funny, I made a video about these splash guards a long time ago and people mostly use them for looks, um, but also some functionality. The rocker on the bottom of the Model 3 does accumulate um, some damage down there with rocks and debris being kicked up. The paint chips away, so that was a complaint from people. Tesla even has their own kit to put splash guards on the car, but people were finding that those were even worse than the aftermarket ones, collecting a lot of debris in there and also having the same problem of potentially damaging the paint. So most people did not recommend Tesla's solution. Um, so these third-party ones that you can get from a lot of places have been working pretty well for a lot of people. Uh, I did notice that they did protect from mud, from splashes, and it did seem like in the back of my rockers where I was accumulating some of that damage that seemed to kind of freeze in time. Now of course I wouldn't say this solution is 100% but you're probably better off with these than with nothing. So as for the PSA I removed the mud guards and as I said I noticed some of the paint was gone just a little bit uh, behind that mud guard where it was rubbing. And it's actually pretty funny, I think somebody commented on the original video, kind of warning me, hey, you know, you're putting those on, they're touching the paint, which, you know, it's pretty obvious from the installation, you should maybe put something there, you know, to guard the paint. And I thought about it and I was gonna go back and look into that uh, or see if any damage was occurring. And I just forgot, it's not something I really thought about. Well, I took them off and I looked and saw that some paint was missing there. So I wanted to share with you uh, what my plan is here, uh, what I think about this. First of all, it'd be really nice if these could be redesigned so they were only on kind of the wheel well and they weren't wrapping around the car touching the paint uh, but for what we have now if you already have them installed or if you're planning on getting some I think I have a pretty good idea of what to do um, so for me I have the Tesla paint repair kit I made a video about that it works really well since there's just a very small amount of damage there I'm gonna put some paint over that to kind of put paint over the metal and protect that from there um, I thought of a few things one was really uh, stupid and just putting some electrical tape over that area to protect it since it's covered by the mud flap anyway you can't really see it and I guess you could do that um, kind of janky though and, and probably not the best solution so I found some paint protection film on Amazon a lot of people use paint protection film on the entire front of their car or 100% of the car to protect the paint that's not something I opted to do I think it's a little too expensive for the benefits that you get but for people that did that that's great they would already have this and they don't have to worry about it uh, but you can buy just a small roll on Amazon you only need a very small amount to go over this part where the mud flap is and then you can add that paint protection film by yourself. I think it was just $18 on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. You could put that paint protection film on and then it will protect it from the mud flap rubbing up against there. You could also put this anywhere else. You have wear on your car. I did also notice on the bottom of my rockers, the paint is peeling. Personally, I think this is a defect from the factory. So I did uh, contact Tesla and I'm trying to get something done about that. I haven't heard yet. I will keep you updated. Um, but that may be another place where you just want to put a little bit of that protection film just right up under the rocker. Personally, I wish going forward they would make the rockers plastic like on the Model Y and a lot of other SUVs and they probably do it for this reason. Um, I guess that may look a little weird with a sporty car but it would be much better for reliability. So that is my plan. I am keeping the mud guards. I think they look really nice and I do think they offer some protection from debris hitting up on the rocker there but it should be a pretty quick fix. Should be easy to take them off, put them back on. My only concern would be the little pop rivets that you use to put them in. You have to be really careful taking those out. I've noticed the ones on the outside of the car, they just get kind of weak and brittle over time and it can be easy to break them and make it so you can't put them back in. Um, so be very careful while you're taking those out. Hopefully you have some extra somewhere. I haven't found anywhere to buy them. Uh, if somebody knows where you can buy some extras of those, please leave it down in the comments. I will pin that comment because uh, I would like to just have some extras around. There are some on the inside of the car.
tar that you'll remove like when you do the air filter and stuff, those I found are not brittle at all and you can easily remove and replace those over and over again. So let me know what you think of my fix. Uh, what are your plans if you already have the mud guards installed? Are you gonna check it out, see if there's any damage and take care of that, put some maybe PPF there. If you don't have them yet and you were thinking about it, is this like, oh heck no, I'm not gonna put these. Um, I looked up some of the other generic ones that you can get that fit like any car. And pretty much all of them are just flat and they go in the wheel well and they don't touch the paint. Um, so that makes a little more sense. And I guess it's not too surprising that this happened. Um, but I will say that looking around other parts of the mud flap, besides I had just that one line um, going kind of where it touched the paint on the outer edge of the mud flap. Uh, besides that, it was great. It didn't really accumulate anything on the inside of the mud flap. There was nothing really in there when I took them off. Um, so overall, I'm really happy. And I think the damage at least is in one small area versus that whole rocker um, kind of getting blasted with sediment all the time, especially for me, regularly driving on dirt roads. I think it's important to have those on there. Um, and again, I just, I like the look. So let me know what your plans are. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 